Hey, all you crazy Gare Bears out there, welcome to another edition of my show, The Gare Bear Review. Yes, let's get over this. We are going to go over Pompeii. Yes, it's probably one of the more historical movies that we've seen come out in the last few uh, months. So, uh, let's get down. I actually really enjoyed it. I, I had a little bit of doubt um, with it because of, you know, the historical aspect. Because sometimes movies, historical movies... Some of them who some of them are who that are based on events, I would say, are I don't know how to explain it, but they're not they don't really go into they embellish a lot. I could I could say that they embellish a lot, and this actually did. I in my you know textbooks and in, in my learnings at, at, you know in school in history class, I don't think I've ever seen. Um, this actually ever happened in the version of Pompeii that I know ha uh, of, but I, I've always loved the version. Uh, I've always loved the story of Pompeii and Atlantis. Like those two, the, those stories mind boggle me all the time. I love listening to it. Um, the the cast here actually uh, kind of threw me because it was just interesting to see so many uh, people that I don't normally see in these types of films. Uh, be in it, like, uh, Kit Harrington. uh, I don't know if you know who he is, uh, but you, you definitely know if you saw him, uh, he's, he, uh, he's in Silent Hill, uh, he's, he's the main guy in Game of Thrones, I believe he plays, uh, Jon Snow, right? Yeah. I've only watched the first season, and I'm a little lost, so, but yeah, he, he plays Jon Snow, uh, he's actually, recently, he's gonna be, uh, Soon, uh, later in 2014, uh, he's gonna be in How to Train Your Dragon 2, which uh, I can't wait for. Um, but yeah, Kit Harrington, and then uh, someone you should all should know, especially if you're a huge fan of the Matrix franchise, uh, Carrie Ann Moss. She would, she's in it. It was very weird seeing her. Uh, Emily Browning, who looked stunning in this movie. Uh, you may know her from uh, maybe The Uninvited, or definitely I know you know her from Sucker Punch, and she actually. In my mind, she started out uh, in Unfortunate Events, series of Unfortunate Events with uh, Jim Carrey, which I, which was a uh, fun movie for for that. Uh, you know, she's also in Darkness Falls. I don't know if you've ever watched that. Um, Jared Harris, who you definitely should know. Uh, Keither Sutherland, again, blew my mind that he was in this. Uh, I wasn't like he has such a weird, weird aspect. Uh, weird character in this one, and I and I and I like I said before, seeing these guys do these characters, uh, it was interesting because doing a movie like this, doing a, a history film, it you need to you don't you need it was they did it from a few days before uh, Pompeii uh, erupted, before it erupted, uh, before the Mount Vesuvius erupted. I apologize. Um, they, they they basically created a character or characters I would say that were uh, probably around that time and they basically built the story around that which was fine and it was actually good the story was actually it held up very well I was actually impressed that it did that it held up uh, that well um, they also had uh, Sasha Royce in this which I found was interesting uh, you know him from uh, Grimm uh, the series Grimm on uh, was NBC, I think. He's also he also played Marcus Diamond in a few episodes of Warehouse 13, which I don't, I'm hoping you guys know. Um, it's a sci-fi show, which is probably one of my favorite shows. Um, yeah, so it, it was actually really fun to watch all these guys. The CGI was actually really good in this. Uh, I loved loved the fighting in this. Uh, I would like constantly just just be surprised on the amount of athleticism that these guys go through um, with this movie. I, I, it was, I loved it. It was fun. Um, I, the thing is, I, it's a history film, and I, and I keep going back to this. History films are, are very dear to me because I love history. I, I'm, I'm, I wouldn't call myself a buff, but I, I do love learning about history and certain events and why they happened and you know, what went wrong, what could have they done, you know, like Atlantis, Atlantis uh, alone, uh, I watched way too much crap on Atlantis, um, it, it was, Pompeii was good, I, I enjoyed it, the CGI was fantastic, 
and I actually like the fact that they called it a mountain because that's they didn't even know it was the volcano wasn't really a word used back then. You know, you know when it when it erupted. I I would say maybe years later because they they would describe it as volcanic. You know, uh, you know the volcanic mountain. They never said volcano, uh, which I found was interesting. Uh, when I when I learned it, I already I actually called it in the film, and they actually said it, and I was so happy that they did. Um, it it was a really good film. I, I actually do recommend it, expect if you're if you're interested in that sort of thing. Uh, personally, I wouldn't recommend it as a as a second viewing, or maybe even as an own, like if you put it in your collection. Um, if you can download it, go for it. Um, I, but I, 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 it's definitely if you want to see it, if you have issues of not wanting to see it or seeing it, I would say just see it. It's a really good film. It's actually worth your time. You know, unless you can't stand stuff like that, then stay away from it. Um, but what I do recommend that you don't stay away from is my channel. Of course, you guys know where I was going with this. Yes, please should like, subscribe to my channel. You can do that in the description below. And I will leave the description in order to get this lovely t-shirt from a fantastic artist. I just had to grab this. Yes, it is Elsa from the movie Frozen, uh, which I do have that review as well. You can check that in my on my channel uh, later on. I believe it's a few episodes before this one. Um, just check it out. Uh, and make sure you guys stay tubed because get your bow ties and your glasses ready because we're going... To Peabody and Sherman. Yeah, we're going to go on the way back. Oh, yeah. So stay tuned for that.